Mời đồ điện thoại kìa Suy cái kìa tụi bạn Nhưng mà bỏ nó nè Trầm tụi cậu ốc và văn cậu ốc tụi trầm tụi phán ra The flooding in China continues. This time, it's concentrated in China's Pearl River Delta, brought on by Super Typhoon Seola. Like Typhoon Doxuri on July 29th, Typhoon No. 9 Seola has entered China in a strange pattern. After forming in the eastern part of the Philippines, Seola made a detour around the northern part of Luzon Island, brushed the southern part of Taiwan, and made two sharp turns before proceeding straight to Guangdong, Fujian, and Zhejiang provinces. It landed on the coast of Fujian on the night of the 3rd to the morning of the 4th. The cyclone Haikwei had already reached the level of a strong tropical storm. How scary is Super Typhoon Seola? This woman was blown down by the wind and slid a few meters while trees were uprooted. Yeah, Hong Kong is very good um, typhoon warning systems. So we knew several days beforehand that uh, we were getting this uh, typhoon that was coming through. So um, we uh, tied down all the furniture that we could and uh, brought inside uh, what, what, what we could as well. So we're trying to stop things flying around and, and hunger down a little bit. but um, we're still hearing a lot of that deafening sound of the wind, uh, a lot of things banging about and um, sort of concerned about what's going to be happening in, in the village over the next few hours as the winds turn from the northeast to the southeast, which uh, makes it where the village is much more exposed. Um, there's nothing between us and the Philippines here. In the early morning of September 1st, Typhoon Seola made landfall in Jinwan District in Zhuhai City in Guangdong Province, intensifying to Category 17 at landfall, accompanied by heavy rainstorms with a power directly comparable to that of last month's Typhoon Dok Suri. The air, sea and land transportation in Shenzhen and Zhuhai were suspended, and more than 780,000 people in Guangdong were evacuated. I'm here to present the weather conditions. The storm is so fierce that I can't stand still. If I'm not leaning against this pole, I won't be able to stand steady. During the live stream, we were at the beach first, but the wind and waves were so strong that we had to retreat back to town. The winds recorded in the area where I was just now have exceeded force 12. Shanwei City has issued the highest level of Typhoon Red Alert, reminding the public to stay alert and safe. I can't hold it, I can't hold it anymore. Hurry up and go inside. I can't hold on anymore. 
中交中交，我操！那部车刚好过就给那个树倒下来了。Hurry up and move it. These two cars were driving fast on Beihuan Avenue in Shenzhen. They got hit by trees blown down by the typhoon. Let's move this door first, then carry the people out. Let's see if the driver is all right. Let's get the driver out first. Typhoon Seola strikes Zhuhai. Let me show you. This scene is really scary. It's not an official landing yet. Typhoon Seola made landfall in Guangdong province twice in one day, causing great damage. Many trees fell on local roads, blocking traffic. At least 75 people were injured in Hong Kong when the typhoon hit, but Guangdong hasn't released any casualty figures yet. Typhoon Seola was so powerful that the Chinese media called it the strongest typhoon in 70 years to have hit the Pearl River Delta in Guangdong, that is, since 1949. The Guangdong authorities have raised their emergency response to the highest level. In Guangdong and Fujian provinces, Seola swept through the area, causing torrential winds and rain and destroying trees and buildings. The CCP authorities have been hiding the truth about disasters because of the need to maintain stability. No local governments in Guangdong have released statistics on casualties. Many typhoon videos were quickly deleted or filtered out online.
。你别别别，你可千万别开。No no no, don't open it. I believe in this. Damn it. 我靠！推了推了推了这个，然后这个头发。I open the door a little bit, hear the sound, then look at the hair. The wind is blowing fast outside. It's scary. The rain won't stop. When the typhoon arrived in Luoding, Guangdong Province, all five reservoir gates were discharging water without advance warning. It flooded people's homes, and the city was inundated.
Why are there so many extreme weather events and natural and man-made disasters in 2023? Could it be a warning from the divine? A Taiwanese master of Chinese studies has predicted five major crises for humankind. A lack of water, lack of soil, lack of food, lack of people, and all of these are caused by the last one, a lack of virtue. The water shortage. China's water resources are the most seriously polluted, with 80% of the groundwater undrinkable. A lack of soil and food. Extreme weather, natural and man-made disasters are everywhere in China. The discharge of reservoirs without warning in August 2023 has resulted in the flooding of grain silos in northeastern China and crops in Zhuzhou, Hebei province. Harvests are practically all destroyed. A lack of people. China's fertility rate has been dropping continuously. Young people are practicing four no's, that is, no relationship, no marriage, no buying homes, and no children. It shows their despair towards the future. These four shortages are all caused by a lack of virtue. Traditional Chinese culture has an uninterrupted history that lasted for thousands of years. It believes that souls don't perish and human beings are reincarnated. It's not just one life, but lifetime over lifetime. Stressing the importance of having a noble character is one of the essences of traditional Chinese culture. Good character such as honesty, kindness, and tolerance allows a person to accumulate virtues and the blessings of life are derived from virtues. Loss of virtue means loss of blessings. Misery awaits a person without virtue, either in one's present life, next life, or future lives. Tragic endings in this lifetime are considered present-day karma, but they can appear in other lifetimes to which are considered to be next life karma. There have been more than 20 dynasties in Chinese history. Each time when a dynasty was at its end, it was often because the social morals declined and the ruler lost his virtue and the hearts of the people. Before the fall of a dynasty, there would be various traces and signs of its demise. Wow, 